Hey everybody, Eric here from Around To It Videos, and you know me as Joe Hanson 99 here on YouTube. And today we're doing a Movie Edit Pro tutorial on the Magic Tree video that I did. That's where somebody walks up, walks by a tree, and disappears when they go past it. You're going to learn how to do that special effect today in about five minutes. Also, as an added bonus, we're going to review, we're going to revisit the ghost effect because the uh, techniques used to make the magic tree effect and the ghost effect are so similar with just only slight variations uh, you're going to get a two for one bonus today uh, so anyway let's get get started we've got movie edit pro open in the timeline mode and I've already made my raw footage we're going to drag it down to track one and just to give you a little setup here on the the video I had my camera on a tripod facing the tree. I hit the go button on it and we did this in about two minutes. And here's what it looks like. The camera set up everything in front of the tree. If you don't have a tripod you need to get one uh, because all these special effects that I show you, you have to keep the camera in the same position the whole time while you're recording otherwise your special effect just won't come out right. Now if you don't have a tripod I suggest getting one and if you can't afford one right now for some reason, uh, just remember keep your camera in the same position. Okay? Alright, now here's the video. And you can see Sean walks up and he's walking all around the tree. And now let's set up the special effect. Now what you have to do is you have to record your background image where mine is the tree with nobody around it. Okay? And I did that. Let's put the start marker there right click on the start marker, zoom to one frame and we have to capture one of these frames and save it as a picture file so I've selected one frame of the video here we're going to select file export as single frame JPG now one quick note I'm saving mine at a resolution of 640 by 480 and just remember whatever you're going to export your video as what resolution that's the same resolution you have to save your picture okay otherwise it won't come out now I've already done that so let's go grab my picture and we're gonna drag it down put it on track 3 right below the raw footage we're going to expand it on the timeline so that the image is the same length as the video now what you need to do is right click on your image select image size and position and a new window appears now in the upper left hand corner you want to deselect keep proportions make sure that box is not checked in the upper right hand corner you want to select cropping in size position okay now on your preview window here you've got all your handles on your video and we've decided that the right side of the tree is where everything disappears so what we want to do we want to grab that handle on the left side right here left click and hold drag it over and we're going to let it go somewhere on the tree say right about there okay and that's all you do and you click OK and this is what you get and it looks just like this you see it looks pretty neat right there Sean comes up and this time he's disappearing and that's the magic tree special effect you can also use this special effect on walls buildings um, if you remember in the first Matrix movie uh, where at the end of the movie where Neo finds out he's the one he runs down the hallway at the agent and does a dive right into his body that's how that effect was created you could do something similar like that anyway now we're going to do the ghost effect this one is going to be way quicker way faster we've already set it up on the timeline almost what you want to do instead of having your image on track 3 below your video you want to swap them you want your image on the first track and your video below it this is for the ghost effect okay but now see we've split the uh, image for the magic tree effect we want to reset that by right clicking on it and select reset video effects there you go with your image of your footage on track 1 in your video on the track below it on track 2 what you want to do is you want to grab that top middle handle on your video and we're going to reduce the brightness on it by about half by about that much 
and what this allows you to do it allows you to blend the video on track two with the image on track one and since I recorded this on a tripod it's going to look seamless it's going to really set this effect off and this is what you get right here that quick that easy look at that there's a ghost and that's how you do the ghost effect now see just a slight variation gives you a completely different effect anyway I hope you enjoyed the uh, two-for-one tutorial today uh, I look forward to uh, getting some video responses to this so anyway everybody have a good one and we'll talk to you later